Welcome to Fair Flies. This is our new steel head or anadromous brush. This is black and blue. We've got all sorts of great material in there, the right amount of flash, the right amount of dubbing. We've got all sorts of goodness in there so that you can do a one turn fly. We're gonna make a fly today with it. We're gonna customize it a little bit. It's more than you even need to do, but we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with this. As always, first thing, attach the hook, lay down a good base. When you're tying on shanks, they have a tendency to want to slide. So lock that bead into place first, get it up there. I would feel lost without my regal rotational vise here, guys. This just makes everything so much quicker. Instead of spinning my thread, I just get to spin the vise, lay everything down stays nice and tight but if you're going to be spinning it all you need an auto retracting bobbin and this Norvice bobbin by far beats the rest okay I uh, I preset up my hooks little Dacron backing make sure it's at least a hook length back and tie in Now I'm going to tie towards the front with this. I want to really make sure there's a lot of thread wraps, not just in one spot, but forward and back. Now, just before I get back to the end here, I'm going to fold over. I'm going to wrap. Trim this off right here. Wrap all the way back. Throw in a whip back here. Every step, if you throw in a whip, everything's gonna stay locked in. If for some reason you break your thread while you're tying, something goes wrong while you're out fishing, one material comes out instead of your whole fly disintegrating. The other thing that I always do, and I just, I never have, but I never want to, lose a fish in the fight because something slipped off the back of a shank. And so I just take this time to make that solid it's a good platform to tie on. All right, here's the part. You don't have to do it. I kind of like it. Kind of makes it a little bit signature. Jeff, if you would. I take three or four wraps of flash of blue, holographic flash of blue. I love the stuff. I just tie in the tips. Kind of spread them out a little bit as I do that. Just go ahead and wrap it all the way forward and back over the top. Lock it down. Get out of the way. Yet again here guys, this is why rotating vices are so nice. Give this a nice little body. I kind of keep those spread out. I cover all the black. Get right about there. And what I do, kind of sp spread these out a little bit. This is just going to add a little bit of kind of a underwing to my fly. I'm just going to trail back there. One more thing to kind of grab everybody's eye. Okay. I trim off kind of the excess of the brush here that's mostly just there so it's easier to package with. Get right down to that material. Point it right at the bead. I give that about a quarter inch. That's all we need. All we're going to do here is one wrap. Now, it's really important because what's going to happen is things want to spin. They always do. Uh, no matter what we do, it seems. But again, I'm going to glue this in position. This is going to allow me to get the brush really tight. I can really spin on it without it just turning on the shank. Let that soak into the threads for a second. Kind of pull everything out, as always, kind of pull it back.
forward. But if I do this as I go, it'll be easier to tease everything out. Kind of make sure those legs are all out. against that bead once again I pinch it and I twist a little just make sure it's nice and tight on there nothing's gonna get loose and before I start locking it down I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna grab as many fibers as we can I'm gonna tease them out they'll still tease out after we tied it down but it makes it a little easier start pulling back the fibers on what I'm gonna cut off get those out of the way Thread around. Lock that down with a couple. Maybe three. Pulling right in behind that bead. Everything's nice and tight. Make sure you put your finger between your thread and the brush as you're cutting. It's just going to keep you from cutting that off on accident. More times than not, pull everything back. A little bit of a head on it. There we go. Before I break my thread off, again, just a little, little UV in front of this. You can use just the UV glue and not even put in your whip finishes. It's probably more habit for me. The flies don't come undone either. Breaks right in the right spot. Good to go. And give it a once around. You can add more to this, you guys, but you don't have to. Look at that. It's about a turn and a half. And you have a perfect fly for swinging up big steel everywhere you go. Hope that was helpful. Hope you see how much time we've saved. I've looked at other videos online for tying similar flies. This is normally a 25 minute fly. We did it and much less. Tight lines.